example, look no further than uh, than your Senator Claire McCaskill. Um, oh, this God. is someone who said that she would be open to a single payer option. Why is she saying that? When did all of these ideas start to develop? Well, it was after Bernie started calling for Medicare for all. And then we saw people like Elizabeth Warren, and we saw people like Cory Booker and Kamala Harris all come out and start to say, yeah, we need, we need uh, a single-payer option. We need Medicare for all. So, you know, why is Claire McCaskill in a state that the president won by double digits embracing this position? I'm not entirely sure. But, you know, a good way to, to, to um, sort of uh, teach these lessons in current day is to vote her out of office. Yeah, it, you sh- the uh, spots that are running are like, you might find we have something in common. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty pretty sure we won't. Um, it's, it's amazing to me, though, that people continue to elect the same people back into office, even if they vote like she does, because mm-hmm. they see a name and it's all they know, so they vote for a name. They pay zero attention to what they stand for, which is, um, which is frightening. Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, it's... It, this is why a group like Empire Rising is so critical um, in the GOP ecosystem and, and in our politics in general because there's so much noise out there. I mean, we have never been in a time or a place where we can get more information about any given subject any time of day, um, whether it's looking at 24-hour cable news or it's looking at the Internet or any other sort of news source. I get my news from Twitter quite frankly. So, you know, there's just this constant stream of news. And, you know, it's really easy for these guys like Claire McCaskill to, to kind of make like a throwaway statement like, oh, yeah, I support, uh, a po- you know, a, a single-payer option for, for health care. You know, that, that was probably something said to uh, appease one of her big Hollywood donors or, or, you know, some other person that would be influential in helping her get elected. Um, but if a group like America Rising isn't around to constantly remind voters that she said something like that so outrageous and just so clearly not re- representative of what Missourians want or think, um, then she'd get away with it. So, you know, we're just constantly ringing the alarm bell. Yeah. And um, it should be ringing loudly. I saw a story this morning, Alex, that said in uh, if... The election is coming around again, and it says Trump is even more popular, polling even better now than he did in 2016. That's good news. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that the you know the president's accomplishments um, aren't often um, sort of out there in the media, but if you look at the at the unemployment rate, if you look at the GDP growth, I mean, these are certainly extraordinary accomplishments. Um, and I think that it's going to be difficult for Democrats to overcome that in, in the midterm elections coming up. Um, you know, they're looking to run against the president. Well, the president's not on the ballot. And, you know, for senators like Claire McCaskill, think about some of our other red state senators like John Tester, Joe Manchin, um, you know, Heidi Heitkamp. These are all people who have continually stood against the president and the Republican agenda.